Okay, guys. Well, obviously, we're very disappointed, and uh, um, you know, I want to give credit to Air Force, and uh, they got a, you know, they have a heck of a team. Um, that offense is uh, built, um, you know, uh, to run right at you, and, uh, and and control the clock, and, and and they were able to do that for sure. Um, I thought we started the game uh, not well, to say the least. But there was a great spark on our team and a great life to our team as we came back. And I thought, you know, we were starting to improve a little bit for a brief amount of time on defense. But on offense, I thought we had a, we had a lot of spark and, a, you know, we were, we were kind of ready, ready to roll. Um, felt at halftime like if we could get them under control a little bit, we'd score enough points to win the game. Unfortunately, we came out in the third period and, uh, and we touched the ball for a minute 15 in the third period. Now we scored in that minute and 15, but you know it's just really hard. There's no rhythm. Um, at, at going in at half, as amazing as it is, our, our stats were pretty even. Rushing, first downs, there's a lot of similarities, but uh, but it pulled away from us. That third period was a costly third period, from a yardage chewing up yardage to a time of possession was 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 just rough. And it's what they do best, and they did it. Um, you know. Uh, I think, you know, obviously I'm not minimizing how how powerful they are offensively, you know, and I, I got that. But, uh, and they're, are, you know, but I think we're just, you know, right now we're, 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 we're chewed up at, at a position where you just have to be healthy at to play against that offense. And that's just the facts. I mean, we're down four, four backers, number one, number two, number three, number four. So. Uh, we're down uh, all all, uh, all Mike backers. So we're out, we're a little bit out of Mike backers. We're a little out of bodies. Uh, D Jack tried to go, he couldn't go. Tavion tried to go, he couldn't go. Obviously, uh, obviously Bam is done for the season, and uh, so Sanjay Strickland uh, wasn't able to go. So, you know, that put us at a little disadvantage. And this is not the style of offense as I knew it during the week. This is just not that kind of. This is not the week to be without your inside backers. Um, so um, I thought, guys, you know, they they they, they played hard, but uh, obviously uh, we didn't get it done uh, on that side of the ball, and uh, and it led to some you know lopsided lopsided kind of stats there at the end in terms of you know yardage given up. Um, spoke to the team. I think our team understands that uh, you know we're building something here. You know, the improvement that we have on our team outside of this past two weeks in interiorly on our defense, which has really been a strong suit, as we all know, but it's not right now. Um, but uh, I like our competitiveness. I like our toughness. I like our line of scrimmage. I like a lot of things that are going on. Obviously, we have fallen short, and our record's not where we want it to be as a record, but our program building is where we want it to be. And as I told the team, um, we're going to build something great here. And, uh, and we're en route to it right now. If you understand football and know football, you know that. It's not com the coaches know it. And we're building something special here. Uh, it's, it's not coming on the timeline that we want it to come on in terms of wins and losses right now. But I like where we're headed. I like the mentality of our football team. As I said in there, we're going to build this brick by brick. And no one said it would be easy. And no one said it would happen exactly when we want to have it. But I think this is going to build our metal. And I think it's going to build us for the future and build us the right way. Um, are we disappointed? Hell yeah, we're disappointed. There's no doubt about that. Uh, no one wants to lose two rival games. Nobody. And uh, so but we're going to get back to work and get back and go out to Hawaii and keep, keep putting bricks down on this foundation and keep building it. And uh, our guys are wired in. They know where we are. The players know. When, when the players don't think that they're where they are, like they don't think they're heading in the right direction, that's a different story. But our players know they are. They've got a lot of pride in and what we're building right now. So I'm very proud of them from that standpoint. Obviously, we're disappointed. I'm not putting any smiley face stickers on it. I'm just telling you where it's at. And uh, so look forward to continue to build it brick by brick. And uh, hopefully, you know, I said last week I had hope, and I, I knew it was probably wishful thinking, but hopefully we're going to get some players back here and maybe be a little bit healthier uh, as we move down, you know. Um, hopefully that's going to be the case. We'll see. Questions? When you got 14 Ideal start for this game. Did you at least like your team's initial response to fight back yeah. and keep coming back and getting it within a touchdown? Yeah, game? that's what I said. Yeah, I really did. You know, and, uh, um, and you know, one of the things that I feel like 
was important, is important. One of the things that bothers me a little bit is we've yet to learn how to change momentum, change the tide that happens. We talked about that a lot this week. We talked about it a lot Friday night, last night. And in, 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 in kind of a weird way, I felt like, you know, we made a little stride there trying to, like, yeah, that, that would be a bad situation the way we started out, right? I mean, that, that would be an understatement. And uh, yet, we were right back in that game. I mean, kind of didn't feel bad about it going, I mean, you know, you'd rather be up on that team, of course, at halftime. You hate to be behind, but I kind of like, yeah, but I felt like we were capturing the momentum. I just, my only issue was, and I said it to the team, was they get the, they get the ball out of the half. We got to stop them, and we didn't. We didn't. And I, in my mind, and we scored on the next possession we got, but in my mind, we need to stop them and score. And I thought that would be critical in this game because it's a possession game when you play this team. And, you know, that didn't happen. So, you know, that was the turn of that tide. I mean, like, we touched it for a minute 15, I think, in the third quarter. I mean, it, you just so out of there's no rhythm. There's no. It's just nothing. But that's the nature of what happens that often. You don't get off the field. It's going to happen. Is the play that drives you nuts is you actually did have them in a place where you thought that they were going to punt. They do the fake punt that continues that. Oh, I forgot about that. Half. We played. We played base defense. Yeah. I called punt safe because I was afraid that they'd fake the punt. I mean, we're in base defense. You can't do anything more than that. <laughs> I don't have an answer right now, um, you know. So we put the right, you know. We we played, you know, what you got to play, you know. We played what you got to play, and then we tried to clock management uh, in at the half. I thought we used our timeouts the right way, got the ball back, possession back, and even at the bitter end, we had one left. Tried to get three seconds, see if we get them to punt it and go after the punt, but they used their timeout and came back, and you know, it was a little bit of a cat and mouse game. But um, yeah, I mean. Yeah, that was a pretty big. That was a pretty big play. There was another one in there. It was like first and twenty-seven or something like that. Yeah, they got the ninety-two yards. Yeah. Touchdown. That was, was that in the beginning of the second half? No, that was in the first half. That was when yeah. they got the ninety-two yards. That was ninety-two. I mean, when you get when you get Air Force or any of the academies and that or any style of that offense to first and twenty-seven, you kind of think you got a chance. You know what I mean? For that to get converted. We've got some young guys in there that are working through this stuff that are going to be, I think, great players. Um, I really do. And uh, you can see flashes of it. But uh, this was a big boy game. And, uh, you know, um, you know we, we will gain experience from this the painful, hard way. Um, you know. And we've got to, you know, we've got to get some help in, in, interiorly. When you defend the wishbone, you defend it this way, okay? And you're trying to support it this way with the corners and, and, and take it out this way in the alleys. We just were having a hard time getting guys to be able to get to their alleys where they're supposed to be, you know, so. They obviously didn't have a ton of success through the air, but yeah. the tough part, especially going up against this option offense, when they connect on a 92-yard pass, does it just kind of put you on your heels <laughs> after that? Well, I mean, you know, particularly Air Force has been known for capitalizing on, on, on big plays through the air. And, um, you know, um, they certainly had a few opportunities. They, you know, obviously one of them was connected on, but they had a few others. And, um, you know, that, you know, become stressors for the safeties because they're trying to run fit so hard in the alleys, right? Um, but, uh, you know, those were issues. Early on, I, th and, 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 and I think I really think in the first half, wasn't it, uh, that they, you know, they were able to stretch the field a little bit on us, and, and, and some guys wide open, which is, uh, you know, there's some youth back there, and and, 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 and you have to learn, you know. Um, but you know, when they're running the ball like they're running the ball, you're trying to get you're trying to get secondary support, um, and and you become vulnerable. You become very very vulnerable, and you know. The defense could feel the inside-out interior alley, lack of alley support, and everybody's overcompensating, pressing, trying to take up the vacuum there. So, you know, those were, uh, now without getting into it too much, those were some of the issues. There's, 
that were occurring in there. And, uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, just, we just got to get guys, we got to, we got to get, we have the ability to, I hope to get Daquan, Tavian, Sanjay, at least three of the four, we have an opportunity to hopefully get them, get them back in the fold here. Well, you've alluded to the injuries, and you've alluded, you've alluded to the unique nature of the offense, which has worked against really good teams. But how concerning is it that an Air Force, a service academy team, can overpower? Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's all part of it right there. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> getting overpowered is not being able to sustain inside out the run support, right? And, uh, I mean, they overpower a lot of people because the nature of the offense is they make you play assignment football, you know, and, and, and you have to be out someone on the dive, someone on the quarterback, someone on the pitch. And that's, that's what this offense is designed to do. That's what it's all about. Um, listen, we have, a, you know, before we got wiped out to answer your question, we had a damn good defense. And we were like, in the, if not number one, number two or three in the conference in rush defense. It's not like, you know, we just jumped off the pickle bolt and can't play freaking defense anymore. I mean, we're a pretty good freaking defense against the run. Our, stati our statistics bared that out and our play bared that out. In the last two weeks, you wouldn't know that, right? That, 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 that looks to be void. And, and, and there's a pretty astounding coincidence that goes hand in hand with that, okay? So, um, and then you pile on an offense that's tailor-made to go right at the center of the defense, that's not a great match in made in heaven right there, okay? So we, we knew all that going into this. Um, you know, <laughs> we liked our matchup in the beginning of the season going into this game, okay? But I didn't like the matchup going into this game this week because um, I was afraid of some of the things we were going to see, we were going to see. And that's not like rocket science. I saw what happened a week ago after we went through that litany of injuries inter internal, internally, interiorly. So um, Air Force goes through a lot of people. I would say there is good at that in our conference, probably the best of that. That's not, that's not shocking, but we also have had a really dominant, good front seven. And... But your front seven is only, you know, it's, it can't be a front four. It's got to be a front seven. And, and you know, those, those, those I thought the uh, defensive line last week after watching the film, I thought they had done a really pretty damn good job, okay? Um, and I don't, you know, I have to watch the film again now, but I, I saw a lot of, you know, we were playing a three-man front, and I saw a fair amount of, penetration uh, in there, but uh, it's designed to keep, you know, you have to try to keep the backers free on this, on this, against this offense. Otherwise, you get pinned inside and you get beat in the perimeters, which you saw happening sometimes. So there's, there's a lot to this. Twenty sixteen? Yeah. I wasn't here for any portion of that. Okay. Why do you think things are going to change moving forward? <laughs> because we're building a, a, a program, okay, where we're building fundamentals, we're building physicality. You've seen that already this year, all right? In our ability to run the football, to stop the run, okay, to win up front, to be able to sack the quarterback, right? I think we we're in the top five in America. Sacking the quarterback, number one in the conference, okay? Um, you know, to be able to create explosives. I mean, we're doing all those things. We've had some really incredibly close, heartbreaking losses along the way. We've played a pretty good competitive schedule uh, in the process. And, uh, and, and we're really essentially one season into trying to turn this program around, okay? It's not, it takes time. It takes time to build a culture, to build a program. And that's what we're trying to build here right now. So it'll be built strong to last forever. Not based on trying to scheme up plays. Okay, that, that's not building. That, that, that goes up and down with your talent level. That just has, a, 
We're trying to, our team, we're trying to teach our team right now how to strain, how to finish, how to study game film, how to prepare for games, how to, how to, how to learn how to know a defense or an offensive opponent, the details and the grind of the fundamentals. And sometimes when you do that initially, players get a little bit fatigued and they can get why because they have never done that before. It wasn't, there wasn't that kind of strain here before relative to any of that. But that's how you build a good program. And that's how you build a strong and a confident program. That's what we're doing right now. Most everybody in the coaching profession sees that right now, okay? And they understand that, including the guy, the head coach at, here. <laughs> had a, a lot to say along those lines, like, keep doing what you're doing. He goes, you're building it the right way, and you guys are going to have a hell of a football program. So I know what we're doing. I've done this long enough, and I know where we are, okay? Uh, and Rome's not built in a day, and uh, yet, shoot, we could be sitting here right now with six, seven wins. We're not. We certainly could be, uh, and we're not. And so our re you know, we are what our record are, is right now. But that's not reflective to what we're building for the future, though. That's been seen. That's in the foundation. Now, you want to take a negative slide on that? Be my guest. You can do that, right? That's easy. You can be as ne anybody can be as negative as they want to. But the players in that locker room, they know. We're going to have a hell of a football program here. Do you like where you're at going into these games next year? I'm going into the game next week. I'm worried about beating Hawaii right now. I'm not worried about next year. Do I like where we are? I'd like to have more wins. But do I like where we are in terms of building this program? Hell yeah. What part? I mean, I, that's what I just talked about for the last 10 minutes, right? Yeah. What else? Anybody else? Real quick. So next week's obviously tricky with the trip out to Hawaii. How does that affect your schedule going into next week when you give them rest? How do you get them prepared, especially leaving on a Wednesday? It's a normal week. And then we just got to weather the trip out there. It's a long trip, you know, it's whatever the hell it is. It's two and a half, refuel, sit on the plane, five and a half. It's like a nine and a half hour trip for us. We're going to leave a little day early so that we can kind of take the edge off of that. Um, and, you know, I'm guessing, uh, having not done this before, I'm guessing that, you know, I, although I have taken the team over to Ireland, but um, there's a strain there, okay? Quite frankly, I worry about everything right now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually worried about the comeback even more. We land here at 11 in the afternoon on Sunday, having slept none and flying through the night on another nine and a half hour deal, coming back in here at 11 o'clock on a Sunday and having to play Nevada here that week. But that's life. I mean, that's, that's the way the schedule gods are right now. So, um, you know, in a perfect world, you play Hawaii, you like to have a bye week after you play Hawaii, okay? Especially when we're as far as we are away traveling over there, playing in a high school stadium uh, and changing in a tent on a side field. So there'll be some real obstacles here. But you know what? Just add those obstacles up, because as far as I'm concerned, we're going to build our metal one brick at a time. And all these things are just going to make us tougher and going to ma make us develop as a team. It's part, part of it is being put into the fire and and feeling the pain of it and, and feeling the heat of it and learning how to overcome it and learning how to deal with it. That's, that's what goes into building a program. You know, I mean, it's what it is, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm excited about, I'm excited about the challenge and yes, I'm excited about the future. Um, and that's what I said to the team. And, uh, I said, I love coaching this, this group and I appreciate what everybody's done. And, uh, we're building something special that we'll all be proud of. And how, how important are the last few games then to put forth an argument that you are making that progress? We've already made progress. I don't need the next two games to say whether we made progress or not. I don't understand where you're coming from. I mean, you have an agenda and an angle here. Why don't you just spit it out? No, I don't. Okay, well, that's how I feel. I just told you, we're going to build this thing one game at a time, one brick at a time, whether we win the next two or we don't. Okay, we're going to build this thing for the future. That's what I'm saying. Any part of that that's not anybody understand? Good. Thanks, guys. <laughs>